Hey folks, Whip here, and if I land this sweet MLG water bucket trick, you have to subscribe. First try. See, told you, you have to survive. You have to subscribe, sub, please, please sub, please, thank you. I survive, so you subscribe. That's what I meant to say. Let's get on with the video. How do I get my stuff back? I did not think this through. Stuff has been reacquired thanks to a nice loner Electra here, and we're good to go with lots of buckets of water. Cause I only needed one. I'm a professional. Well, 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 welcome on back to the Grimlands, where last episode we did a lot of work on the environment, as well as expanding the mega base, and things are looking quite gorgeous. Now, since last time, our Wither Rose crops are really grown over here. Check them out. There's like three or four of the little flowers growing out of just the the one that we had planted down in each spot. This is gonna be amazing. We're gonna be able to fill this area with so many more fields. But before we do that, we need to finish drying the life out of the landscape and getting rid of the grass. We've got a good amount of gravel over here and not so much in the way of dirt anymore. We've got enough to get ourselves started. Oh, we've got plenty. I love it. And I'm out of gravel. For this one, I am gonna be using a new shovel over here, but I, uh, there we go. Okay, that one does not have silk touch. This way I stop gathering the dang grass blocks and just get the lovely dirt that we are after. I got to work replacing all of the grass blocks with coarse dirt and some regular dirt, and I even rode uwu in the dirt over there be before speeding off to finish up the rest of this peninsula. Looks like we might be having a visitor to the Grimlands there with Pixarus needing a bunch of dripstone, but check this out, my friends. It's looking so good out here. I actually ran out of coarse dirt and we need to get a bunch more gravel because I'm out of that stuff here as well. And we only got 41 left. Thankfully, we can produce gravel super easily. But I need to say hi to my fellow Joel here when they arrive before we get into that and get into a little bit more piglin trading today. Now for the most important thing that I know many of you are very much waiting for here that we can finally check and know the point of dripstone farm works. It, it works, it's amazing, it works. Look at it, look how glorious this is. It actually works. Oh, we did it, we did it. Outsmarted the system. Whipkin Redstone. Hello, Joel. Looks like Joel's quite quiet today, but all of the Masons are coming out to say their hellos to another Joel. We'll leave him here to do his trading stuff. And uh, Lisa, Lisa, give me some more emeralds, please. And we are off to the nether roof. Now from the gold farm that we currently have, we are able to convert all of that gold nuggies into gold ingots, which then we can come over here to our piggy boys and drop a bunch of gold on top of them. But I believe the droppers are out. Yes, they are. And I'm not out over here. Amazing. Just to get ourselves started, a stack in each, and I'll keep adding some more on. I believe there's a button. Yes. Remember, think gravel. Think gravel. In order to speed up how much gravel we are getting over here, I want to add on two more piglin trading stations so we can get even more loot in here. We're getting a lot of junk, so I feel like the more we can cycle through at once, the better we're going to be doing. These stations are pretty small, but they do require a bunch of technical materials. So I ran back home and started just crafting up a bunch of random stuff so we could get these things built. Look at him, look at him doing it. Look at him training. The villagers don't know if it's me or him. They can't tell the Joels apart. The last item we are gonna need for this is two more, nope, none of you have it. There we go, two more name tag, the piggy bots. Since these dudes are already working, let's get the storage expanded for them. And that should be good. From here, we just need to create a nice little box out of glass and hook up another system right there to throw another piggy in that point. All right, there we have it. The two chambers are ready to receive the new piggy friends. I just need to be able to spawn some on the roof again. But since we're here, I might as well hook up the redstone from behind. So we just need to get our gold blocks in here because it has to be super fancy. Get the button on the back. And now those systems are ready too. We'll just have to do the rest after we get the pigs in. We got to channel our best Joel self over here and see if we can't get some piggies to spawn. That shouldn't be spawning in over there and we're in nether waste okay let's see if we can make a big old platform that should hopefully do it any piggies piggies zombie piggies not what we wanted take two nothing 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 i'm gonna run out of rockets before i find any piggies all right, this is not working over here. Let's go get some more netherrack. And look at me, I did. We have so much more netherrack down here and even bigger platform, woo. There we go, let's see if this works. A good old Joel try. Zombie piggies, so close. Lots of zombie piggies. Okay, so this is doing better now. It's doing better. We got a gasp before, before. 
We got anything. Come on now. At this point, I realized that about 10 blocks to the south is a crimson forest biome. So I'm gonna move all of the netherrack over there. Take a thousand. Let's see how many hoglins we get. We got hoglins, but we got piggy boys that we want. Yes. Piggy bot one, piggy bot two. Don't kill each other. Do not kill each other. Follow the Joel, follow the Joel, follow the Joel, follow the Joel, follow the Joel. Nope, you're with me, buddy. Follow the Joel. Nope, follow the Joel. You want you want to follow the Joel? There you go. Look at this big old shiny gold crown. Come on up this way, my Joel friend. Yep, you stand right there. And in the box. There we have it. One piggy is secured, and we can start him off there with a half stack of gold. Perfect. Now for the difficult one. The crossbow wielding piggy bot. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Piggy bot. Nope. Piggy bot. Piggy bot. Piggy bot. Piggy bot. This way. Piggy bot. Please. You smelly piggy. Follow me. I'm just dodging and weaving. Oh, dodge. Would you like to join me up this way, please? Yeah, no, all the way up this way. Yes, there you go, perfect. Man, am I glad that I added this third double chest onto these middle ones because a lot are already overflowing. We've got a good amount of gravel in here too, which is amazing. I still don't understand the water bottles. I will never understand the water bottles from Piglin. Water doesn't exist in this dimension, you fools. Maybe it's like a super rare commodity that they got from the overworld somehow by bartering. And now they're just reselling it to me. The potions are now gone. And I'm gonna get rid of the rod and flesh since I'm out here too. Time to crash the server with a pile of rod and flesh. Woo. All right, I was planning to AFK here for a little while, but I just got a message from Jem saying she wanted to hop on and have a conversation, so I should probably get over to her base. Ow! Ow! I hate it here. I, I hate it Ow. here. I hate it. Jem, I hate it here. I, I hate it here. Hi, Flip. Hi. <laughs> What's wrong they're, with they're you? They're students. Oh, um, I'm, I'm okay. I just, yeah, I had a, me and what Scott happened? were doing some magic. Uh-huh, and what? Well, it, it got a little out of, out of, out of control, I think. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm okay. I'm just slightly cold. Uh, cold. No, okay. no, no, no. Last time I was with Scott, he said, don't come near me because you could be infected. And now infected. you're telling me you were doing magic with Scott, and now you, now you have white hair. Uh, yeah, I, I might be slightly frozen I, th I think but i i'll be okay i have i have potions and stuff and and they're not working but I, i'm taking this back i'm taking i'm taking this back for one i'm taking that back <laughs> okay, that's more important fine. than this over here but uh, no you're not you're not doing okay you are not no gem no go get help maybe not from your students outside they don't they don't seem like they're very friendly but <laughs> you you yeah. need to go get help from who i don't know Catherine heals stuff, doesn't she? She makes plants better oh, and can true. maybe help. Yeah, I could go to Catherine. That's what okay. I'll do. Okay. And um don't I'll, I'll 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 go deal with Scott. I'll go deal You're, with deal don't, with Don't don't hurt. He didn't mean it. But but I just I just remade the bow. I came over to show you that I made my bow again cuz you you broke <laughs> it last time. You made it disappear I'm forever sorry. and I just I'm remade sorry. it and it's super fancy and I haven't gone trying out yet, but your students leave them be. They're innocent. Oh, I popped one out of a boat. I missed. I'm an archer. I'm a very good archer. All right, you need to go to Catherine. You need to go get help right now. Go, go, go. Go. Ow, 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 ow. Go. All right. All right. Go, go, go. Fine. No, no, no. Turn around. Keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> left, right, left, right, left, right. Go. Keep going. Fine, fine. fine. Um, can, can you babysit my students for me while, while I'm gone? Uh, it's recess. They're fine. Oh, this guy's actually coming. Um, Crystal Cliffs are... He's walking with us. Look at him. Oh, maybe maybe not a good time. Not a good time. Not a... Buddy, it's not a good time. Come on, buddy. Oh, much there better. Much better. Yeah, there you go. All right, okay, now well, that you are a frozen porcupine, you should really get to Catherine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll get going. Um, you go deal with Scott. Yep, I'll, I'll, yep, I'm gonna go handle him now. <laughs> Goodbye. I cannot believe what Scott just did to Jem. That is unacceptable. Jem better go to Catherine. She better get help on that one. But Scott, is, we can't let this slide. We cannot let this slide. I'm going over there right now. Rivendell, Rivendell, Rivendell. I thought this place was peaceful, friendly, and now it's just turned into an apocalyptic winter. Snow and ice are everywhere. They're harming everybody. 
there has to be some source of power around here that we can remove. Maybe it's just Scott himself. Maybe we need to remove Scott himself. There's nothing quite in here, but I'm getting an idea for a trap on that. Hmm? Hmm? Anything up here? Nothing out of the ordinary, just a dragon head. Some plants. The only good thing in this empire, the good boy himself. I've been searching the area and nothing seems out of whack right now, but the villagers are telling me that there's been some weird happenings around the place. The only one I haven't looked at so far, hey kitty, is the hidden room all the way back here that I've been in a few times for alliance meetings. Nothing super out of whack. What is that over here? He's got his antlers and this is sitting next to it. That has to be important, but I'm not... I, I'm not seeing anything. It looks pretty worthless to me. There's no power coming off of it. Scott is over here holding on to absolutely worthless trinkets that belong in the garbage. I should just toss it out for him, but I don't want him to know I was here quite yet. Not until I'm ready to make my move, at least. At this point, though, I'm taking this back, though. I'm taking that back. 100%. We're done. You know what? I'm not just going to take the head and leave. I'm not just going to take the head and leave. We're going to be watching Scott. We're going to be watching him. You little salmon are gonna tell me everything. Everything that happens around here with Scott's empire, okay? Report back as soon as you have info. But for now, we have to do something. We have to do something and my partner in crime is on. We're going to sausages. Just kidding, I need to get rid of that dirt first. Now we're going to sausages. All right, where is he? What the heck is this castle over here? Oh, of course, there, there he is. There's the Joel, there's the Joel. No. Mythical sausage, Joel, I, I need I need mythical oh. sausage right now. Oh, Hi, sorry. how you doing? Um, hold on, let me go get him. Give me a second, hold on, give me a second. Sausage, you're wanted. Okay, I'm here, this is me. Don't tell Joel though, okay, don't tell Joel. No, no, of course not, of course not. No, 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 Joel, Joel would never know, Joel's not here. Wait, is he? Okay, no, no, no. Joel's are no, everywhere, no, no, you no. never know. Anyways, uh, I'm mad, I want revenge, I need your help. Wait, what? What are you mad about? What are you mad about today? Who you want to blow up today? Scott hurt Jem. Scott hurt Jem, and it's unacceptable. What did that elf do to Jem? He froze her, and it's not good. It's not you. Hello? Hello? You there? You there? Hello? Hello? Whoa! What? You, you, hi! What? Wait, what did you? What? Hi. What did you say? Hi. What did you? I'm sorry. Hi. Yeah, I lost you there for a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. No, it's, every once in a while I get these little headaches. What, what did you say something about Jem? Yeah, Scott froze Jem, and what? now no. she's like sick no and hurt, and it's not good. It's not good, and I want revenge. I'm mad. I've already looked at his base. Um, Did he mean to do it, though? Maybe it was just an accident or something. You never know. I don't what care. It, I just, you know what? Oh. I don't care. Okay. He hurt Jem. Um, That's enough. He hurt at least a little a little smack or something might yeah. you know, make him yeah. <laughs> realize more, what the bad more, things he's done. We're gonna send a message. We're sending okay, okay. a message. That's fine. Don't do I'll it again. I'll send a message. Let's send a message to that to this guy, a boy. It's fine. You know what? Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen let's him go. in a little while. It's very see, cold here. See? Yeah, it's very cold here. Very frozen. Do you He's know that? He's playing with powers time, I... that I don't like. He's playing with no. powers that, not good, not good. He's taking this freezing yeah. stuff with him elsewhere. It's not he good. did this to Jim. Mm -hmm. With mm -hmm. all these cold powers, literally, when I was here last, every time I come here, it's it's colder and colder and colder. So I, I man, he probably has some weird powers happening right now. Inside of here, I think we oh, yeah. send a message. This floor, this floor, we gotta we gotta remember the design of that thing here real quick, cause we need to dig it all up. Wait, what if he comes by? What if he shows up? It's fine. It's shh, shh, shh. he's on. He went on like a retreat to try and heal himself and just. Bleh. Oh, he did that too. Come on, man. So we're okay, gonna that's set fine. up one of these on each side. Okay. And if I remember correctly, do you do you have any observers on you by chance? Do you do you have observers? Man, it would be weird if I did. Let me check. Wow, I have a whole gift box of stuff over here. Check this out. I didn't even know how I had this ready. Here you go. Oh. Amazing! Wow, it looks wow. like it looks like you're really prepared over here. We don't escalate straight to murder anymore. That's the old us, not the new that's us. That's the old, old. No, no, that's the old one. No, that's that's my second plan that I have here. Actually, I'm glad you brought oh, some okay. extra observers because I've got a plan for those. He can't freeze these tears. Oh, he, he better not these even try. Tears. Nope. Wait, but we haven't talked really about Gem right now. Is is. Is it fine? Is it is it gonna be all right, or is it something that is gonna get worse? Um, I told her to go to Catherine. Okay. And I don't know if she did that. Do I? But I need to put the carpet on the redstone. Yeah, you can do that. You can do it. It's fine. You it's just can't legal. walk on it. I think it's okay, legal. Okay, watch, watch this. Please work. Please work. <gasps> oh, works. my God. Now, don't I step was so on scared. it. Don't you dare okay. step on it. I need to remember. 
I need to remember. We're just like, okay. I got this. The photographic memory is coming. The photo, so, photographic, so photographic. Worry. It's a little, a little rough for me, but I got this. I'm a little nervous. And the last white, the last white one. Okay, we're done. Shh, shh. Yeah, don't okay. step on anything. Oh, I'm removing okay, these torches. This He'll never notice. This He'll just think, dark. oh, these were here the whole dark. time. And cool. we were never here. Poof. Behind you. He has, he has <laughs> a guard. He has a the guard. Guards. <laughs> Stop. That thing bounced right back at me. Just get out. We're just going to let it go. Let it... Wait, wait. I have the second plan to my embassy. Oh, perfect. I know where that is. Oh, there's a creeper. No, no, not there. Not there. I got it. With Joel's lovely embassy right over there that he built, I think this is going to fit in quite nice. Hey, what are you doing? What? Are you going to blow up this embassy? I mean, only if he opens the door. You might want to oh, move. I'm going to stand over here then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. This. Oh, whoa. Okay. I, this is a Don't good open trick. that door. I, okay. Don't <laughs> open that door. All right. No more opening this door. It is now armed. Uh, is this door armed? Is the top door armed? The top door's not armed, but uh, okay. I don't. You can go look in there if you want. Oh my God! This is beautiful. Can I please shoot an arrow no, at no, it? No, 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 no. Scott has to do Just it. Scott one. has to do it. No, nope, he has to do oh, it. Oh, so tempting! So tempting! Okay, I'm fine. I'll okay. Rogue arrow! Oh, sorry! Ow. Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> you got in the way! You literally got in the way! I'm not wearing a helmet because I have to have a Joel head on me at all times. Oh. Yeah, I have my Joel here. Don't tell nobody we yeah. have a Joel. And now we sneak away as Joels. They'll never know okay, we yeah. were here. Uh, we didn't do this. Joel nope. did this, by the way. Joel did this. Joel did everything in here. Joel, Joel it was it Joel. All. I didn't do nothing. This nope. Joel. All right. Revenge aside, it is nice to be back here in the Grimlands, where I just recently spent quite a while sitting with our piglins trading for so very much gravel, so we are restocked at least for a little while here. Now, next up, we need to do something very important. Craft more torches, which these torches will lead to us underneath the mega base that's actually already pretty well torched. But using this small section here on the back ledge, since we kind of just broke all ties with Scott and he's across the mountain range, we need to work on getting our own manual sheep farm ready to go. Because if it comes to it, we might need to occupy Scott's base, which the easiest way to do that is with air power. We already have many blimps in the sky over here. We've got the little ones set up over at his base as well, but the salmon surveyors don't have much firepower, meaning we need to give something else to support them. And for the sheep that we're gonna be adding in here, they're gonna need a lot of space. So I'm thinking we almost give them this entire corner underneath the base, where we'll be creating our own secret cavern to house all of our sheepies. Not you, chicken. Not you. Now, unfortunately, as I have pretty much killed the entire landscape around me, I don't have that much wheat. But we have our original wheat field over here that I think I can still harvest. Yes, it's actually irrigated. Oh, I'm so glad I put water over here. That is more like it. All I care about right now is gray wool, and it looks like we got a gray sheep right up here. It's meant to be. It's meant to ba. <laughs> Just walk with me, please. Welcome to your new home. Right in here, buddy. Yeah, I'll go find you a friend. Hey, look, sheep. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Down here. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. There you go. Look at you. A big trusting sheepy boy. Come on in. You too. Right over here. Yes. Yes. Now you're gray sheepy too. And make the gray sheepy baby. Amazing. This is how we start the new empire. I spent more than an hour over here just breeding up sheep and gathering as many as I could in the surrounding area to we now have a whole flock. Then I got bored from that and decided to get a bunch of spruce wood just so we could have more building materials moving forwards. But now, my friends, I believe I have so many sheep back here that if I were to gather them all up, I think they would eat all of the grass. So I think we gotta give it a shot. I'm curious how much wool we'll be able to get, but I need a super shear. But apparently I don't have any unbreaking books. And apparently the villagers don't wanna give me in because apparently I'm really bad at trading. So apparently we're just gonna have to use regular shears. I straight up cannot shear these sheep fast enough. They're growing their wool back before I could get all of them. It's an unending supply of wool. I give up. This Joel is not quick enough. We've already gotten four stacks of gray wool almost. I should I should finish off that last stack. Yeah, okay, okay, we gotta finish. All right, four stacks of gray wool and I can't shear these guys fast enough. Oh, this is gonna be good. 
We've got plenty of spruce wood over here for some future building projects now, which is very nice to have that chest being restocked. But there's a few things that I still want to do. You okay, buddy? It's okay, just being Joel. But for this, we are going to be needing quite a lot more TNT. And a lot of gold pressure plates. And unfortunately, some cobblestone, which I have none. Oh, sausage left the game. I'll just, I'll just go borrow. I'll just go borrow some from him. It'll be okay. Come to think of it, I know where all of my cobblestone went because I gave it to Jem thinking I would never need it again. It's all right here. I am so out of redstone. This is painful. From here though, we're headed back to Scott's base because I'm updating the trap in the embassy. Right now, if Scott goes through the front door, everything explodes. But I know Scott. I already brought some glowstone in over here to try and encourage him to come over being like, why is it so bright in there? But I know Scott, he's a smart cookie. He's a smart cookie. He already fell for the prank once to Joel. And now we need to come throughout here and just update it a bit more. So mining a little bit of the TNT away. I really, really hope I don't do this wrong. But if we assume maybe we do a few points of entry, so like one there, one there, fill these out. So if he breaks through that wall, that'll trigger it. Maybe he comes through the chimney. So we put a few observers over here too. I'll take my bed back just for safekeeping. Uh, this observer, ooh, that's gonna be rough. All right, we're gonna have to break our way out through there. That observer's gonna have to be here. We shut that and then now that door will be armed as soon as I place a TNT on there. Okay, but what you gotta do before that is in case he comes through the roof at any point, we cover everything with gold pressure plates that I should not have started placing from this side. All of those are armed. If anything touches them, an item entity drops on top of them, whatever it might be, this place is going up in flames. Is it perfect? No, not by any mean, but it's armed. The chance of him getting in there successfully and disarming that thing is very small. But now Small Man Joel is hosting a game to give away the crown. You best believe I'm going over there. You're early and Joel's right over there. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Hi, Joel! Jesus Christ, not okay, not okay. I had to do a Joel uh, thing. That's, a, I, that's another I was just Joel watching. thing. I was watching a YouTube video, just sorting out my chests. <laughs> I was not expecting that for it. That was so scary. I had to check all the Joel boxes of Joel Bingo, so it, it had to okay. be done. <laughs> okay, okay. Everyone keeps scaring me, of all people. Huh, I wonder why, Joel. I wonder why. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weakest empire. Today, you can win probably the most valuable thing in the server, the crown up top of my head because I don't Ooh. want it anymore. Wow. Oh, wow. yeah. Look wow. at me in a mad admiration, Joels. This looks so weird, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself, Joel. We will start with, I guess, Jimmy, seeing as that makes sense. Oh, all right. Oh, question why number one. Wait, Jimmy. why does that make sense? No, why does that make sense? sense? Trust it. Trust I don't the know. It just because there's a gap emperor. next to it. Okay. 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 Question number one Jimmy, who was mm -hmm. the oldest member? No, who was? Jimmy, who is the <laughs> oldest <laughs> member? Someone passed away. Um, who is the who oldest is the old... member of the Empire server? Wait, in real life? Yes. Um, oh, gosh. Um, I know, I know, I know. Time's ticking. Uh, pixel. Correct. Ooh. Nice! Ooh. Oh, my God. Ooh. I'm nervous. Hi. <laughs> Whose banner uses orange, yellow, white, and black colors? <laughs> It's not Don't me. Look around. Don't look around. Oh, God. <laughs> Orange, yellow, white, and... Oh, my God. Sausage? Come on. C uh, incorrect. No. It's Are Pearl. Are you serious? Pearl. Oh, well. The duck. Right. Oh, the duck oh. eyes were black. Oh, no. Um, what is the name, Fwip, of Scott's wool delivery service? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, the one that's at my base was named Henry. <laughs> no, no, he's got a name for the whole service. Oh, God. Can he, like, ask the audience? No. Can I phone the a audience? friend? <laughs> Which audience? Can I phone a friend? 
Phone a friend, phone it. That is Come it. Come on, that quick, is just in. one. What, last guess, three, two, one. Rivendell, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, it was Sheep Shack. I'm sorry. Sheep oh. Shack. Oh, rip. At this point, all of the empires who were able to get both questions correct, me being zero questions correct, they got to vote for who they wanted to kick out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh. this. <laughs> so the votes are in. <laughs> and we have well, three, a unanimous vote, apparently. <laughs> I'm out of here. Get out of here. You are the weakest Bye, empire. Man. Goodbye. I decided to stick around and watch the show because I wanted to know who the next emperor was going to be. It's You've got a, a fist fight to oh the death. Yeah. The last, last woman standing wins. <laughs> It's a no. bare knuckle. It's a bare no, knuckle. Lady Marceline, go, sir, strawberries. Oh. Is anyone low? Oh. 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 I got a head. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you Can you actually? Come on. No. Oh. oh, my God. We have oh. our oh God. Wow. How close are Congratulations, Queen Lizzie. All right. How close were you to death, Lizzie? I'm on half a heart right now. Half? Oh, wow. No. Oh, wow. I knew you were close. Oh. Okay. What's the my rule? As Emperor of Empires, I have decided that from this point forward, you may only eat cake. Oh, oh, oh no. my gosh. What? Lizzie, I'm not Hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. wait. This is really it was just the last last meal. Last meal before <laughs> cake. She did. Oh. Right. Now. As I, I was just trying to top off the hunger. Yep. You will receive punishment very soon. <gasps> Get her. Wow. Beheadings? Yeah, might as Teach well just keep being careful. <laughs> I got it. Sorry, You're in for a punishment. <laughs> Sorry, Flip. <laughs> All right, no! cake only, people. I was eating while the rule was going out. <laughs> it's not fair. At least I can fly. <laughs> only eat cake. That's uh, very that's, nice. Uh, that's a good rule. Yeah, I like you're welcome. Yeah. If anybody it's would like cake, come but... to the Grimlands. We have lots. I cannot believe I got voted off first. What the heck? Okay, well, over here, at least we have farmers. Velma. Velma, Velma, Velma. Oh, Velma. Velma, you're the best. Ronald, Ronald, you suck. Thomas, Thomas, I don't like you either. You know what? Maybe Velma's are only the new favorite villager that we have. Uh, we've at least got some cake. Okay, well, we're gonna have some emergency food right here outside of the house. Well, storage room. We need some emergency food in front of the mega base. And since Jem has been a little sick and unable to make it, I'll drop some cakes off here for her as well. Like a nice front banister for the entrance to the school. Also, feel free to let the other empires know that FWIP has a cake delivery service here, so if they need any, we can drop off plenty of cakes at their base. Excuse me, villagers, but that, my friends, is gonna have to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. I do hope you did enjoy more of a lore-heavy focus episode here. I'm really excited to get back in on the storyline. I got my building itch done there and everything like that. We got a lot of mega base building to come, but I, I wanna get involved with everything going on here again. So if you have any ideas for that, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But as you are down there, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Please subscribe if you're brand new. And with that, my friends, I'm gonna be here eating some cake and I'll catch you on the flip side.